Juliet. And I'm Taylor. And today we will be learning about the fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay, you might be asking what the fundamental theorem of algebra is. What is the fundamental theorem of algebra? So in big complicated terms, it is this wonderful thing right here. So how about for the rest of us? What is the fundamental theorem of algebra? Okay, for the rest of the normal people on planet Earth, Let's think about it in little simple terms. So we have an equation, and it is a, which is just a constant, or a number, times x to a power, which is n. So we're going to have that plus a number times x plus another number. That is equaling 0. And so for every nth term we have, there are going to be that n number of solutions when equal equals 0. So another. So then how do you figure it out? Oh, well there's two ways that you can solve it. The first is factoring. And the second is the quadratic equation. Okay, so did you want to try an example with that? Yes, let's try it. When you have x squared <laughs> plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now, factoring goes like this. When you have this number, you want to find two numbers that, when you multiply them together, we'll get this one. And you add them, you get this one. So put the 6 on top and the 5 on bottom. So now what two numbers we multiply by when you multiply them you get six and when you add them you get five. Uh I don't know. Three and two? Exactly. Three and two. Mm -hmm. So then after you do that, you go um let's see. X plus three and x plus two. Now you need to find the x roots. So you set these equations to zero. <laughs> So how do you find x? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you add the numbers. No, you subtract the numbers. There we go. On both sides. So the x roots are negative 3 and 2. <laughs> and that's factoring. And so for other equations of factoring, just a little side note, if your largest exponent is, say, cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 or something, you're going to have three parentheses. Three parentheses instead of two, because the two here were because we had a square right there. So this is n. So whatever n is, is how many parentheses you will have. Perfect. So Taylor, did you know there's another way that we could solve? There's another way. Is sure. the quadratic equation? Duh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it. It's okay. So, did you want to tell us a little story of how we remember our quadratic equation? You're a better storyteller than me. Okay. Well, you see, the negative boy couldn't decide whether to go to the radical party or not. So he decided to be square, and he missed out on four awesome chicks, and the party was all over at 2 a.m. All right? And so the whole thing that we tie in, the B's and the C's and the A's with, is in your equation. You have A. Zero, where each of these are a number, a, b, and c. So, for example, like our previous one, if you had x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Since this right here, a would just be 1. Right. b would be 5. 
and C would be 6. So we have A equals 1, B equals 5, and C equals 6. Perfect. And you just plug it into the equation. Like so. So we have our negative B, since B is 5, it's negative 5. Plus or minus. The radical of B squared. So it's 5 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is 6. And the whole thing is over at 2 times A, which is 1. And then we simplify it. So I'll be negative 5 plus minus the square root of 1 all over 2. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. No, 25 minus... She's just so smart. <laughs> 25 <laughs> minus 24. And so that, take that here, equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 2. Like that. That simplifies again. Negative 5 plus or minus 1 over 2. And now we're going to break these off into two separate spots because we have our plus or minus. So negative 5 plus 1 over 2. Right there. That equals... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> negative 2. Negative 2. And negative 5 minus... 1 over 2 equals negative 3. Negative 3. And those are our two answers. And remember previously, those are the same answers you got when you factored. Yep. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand the fundamental theorem of algebra just a little more. And thank you for watching. And if you don't know how to dance, keep watching. Ready? Ready. That's all. <laughs> Got some Taylor going on over here. <laughs> Get some butt in there, Jamal. You get it, you get to, ooh, small, hey. <laughs> Showcase Taylor now. Come on, Taylor, go. Uh. <laughs> Bust out the robot. Bust out the robot. Do the sun dance one or the Oh good Jamal. Can you do the worm? Ow! And I wait bye.